two races remain in the 2009 chase for the Scrub Cup. We go on a Phoenix today, changing it up a little bit. Once again, we pretty much end the chase with three out of four mile and a half. This is kind of a wild card race. I don't know what kind of speed we're going to have. Once again, we never know what kind of speed some of the other guys have who we're racing against. But we'll give you a look at the updated point standings after Texas. So shout out first off to our teammate Elliot Sadler. Made the ultimate sacrifice, brought out the caution, and uh, pretty much set us up for a, a great race and a great finish. So we ended up coming home third. We opened up the point scamp over Regan Smith. Clint Boyer with a, uh, a really bad run to Texas again. Really thought he'd be a lot stronger on the mile and a half, but ended up finishing uh, in the deep 30s. So he's following spot to fourth. We got a new third place driver, and that is AJ Almendinger. So he's not totally out of it yet, but uh, depending on this race, man, this is pretty much going to narrow it down to just one or two guys. Probably me or Regan Smith. Other moves, David Rudiman up a spot in eighth. Reed Sorensen up to ninth, and Sam Hornish back to tenth. Two spots lost there. So with that, let's go ahead and hop into Phoenix. All right, up to qualify. This probably is going to be our one and only hope this season. I said that at Martinsville, but this is going to be our last shot to not qualify 43rd. Uh, I know we probably still will, but uh, this is our one and only shot. I don't know what kind of speed we've got compared to some of these other guys, but... Uh, Either way, it should be pretty fun. I'm just kind of excited to shake it up, man. Not, you know, have a mile and a half. I mean, the mile and a half have been actually kind of fun. They've been a lot of, uh, a lot of pack racing and just a lot of, a lot of cars everywhere, a lot of wild moves. So, we'll see what Phoenix brings us. But, uh, yeah, full sin. And most importantly, we gotta hopefully not tear up the car. I think that's been some of the scariest parts. Of, I've gotten race damage before, or crash damage. And it just kills the speed of the car. This is not one of those spots. Uh, even at Martinsville, like that's that's where I noticed it uh, the most. Is at Martinsville we had we had that nose damage and it just killed our speed. So, uh, you know, we've got a 72 point lead over Regan Smith. We want to hopefully keep it going in Homestead. So, P43 on the first lap. That's probably gonna be the same on the second, but we'll see what we can do here. Oh, we can put it almost in the damn wall. That's what we can do. And that was slower. All right, P43 it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. All right, here we go. I don't know where Regan Smith is starting, but I saw Clint Boyer. He's rolling off P3. Look at all those friends. Look at all those friends. Yeah. All right, so we got 78 laps here at Phoenix. And 72 points is the gap to Regan Smith. So most importantly, if we can get just a, you know, quality race, easy race, finish somewhere mid-pack, I'll be okay with that. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep track of where Regan Smith is running today, and you now we'll do our best to hopefully. Oh my holy stat! What are we doing? Regan Smith is actually P10 as it stands right now. Make that P11. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why we're going so damn slow. Like the AI back here are going like 80 mile an hour in the damn corner. Oh man. Hey, it's Kyle Petty. We had, I was talking about him at the end of the Texas race. It's been a minute since we've seen Kyle Petty. He's just been kind of hanging around. Yeah, I don't know why we're going so slow around here. I don't know if it's just the traffic, but we're just going to go by around. Yeah, we're going to go around these guys on the high side. Oh, okay. They just yield me right back. We'll fuck myself then. Yeah, that's the last time. That's the last time I'll ever go to the top. That felt really cool there for a minute, just blowing by him. Yep, and back to 42nd. I can't, even, I can't even get down. All right, fine. I'll try again then. Oh, God, man. Knocked his ass. Sorry about that. I hit the brakes and it just totally locked up. That's going to be one of the biggest. See, it, this will be a little bit better than Martinsville. The, the breaking points are, you know, you don't have to put as much break into it, uh, you know, as, as you do at Martinsville, obviously. So you can almost kind of coast it off in the corner. But if you ever really need to hop on the brakes real quick, that ain't going to be pretty because I'm going straight. That's the thing. It's, it's going to be hard to, hard to outbreak anybody. If I, you know, if I got to stick a nose off in there, I'm probably going to go. I'm, I'm going to go straight up into him. Hey, keep your ass over there. We're friends now. Oh, God. Okay, maybe not anymore. That'll be a nice little reminder for you, David. Keep that shit up there, dude. There you go. This thing turns actually really well. This kind of puts us back to where we were before. Kyle Petty, how we doing? P36. He's actually sitting P6 in the, uh, in the Scrub Cup Championship standings. So, you know, overall, not a bad run for him this year. He might lose a spot or two after today if he keeps up where he's at now. But, hey, wall's up there, buddy. Just letting you know. Oh, my God. There it went. It's okay. I didn't want to go fast anyways. 
Like, holy shit, man. What we gotta go 90 mile an hour through 3 and 4 for? Sorry, Sam. I'm sorry, dude. We were friends. And now your ass is broken and my nose is broken. I'm just pushing Sam Morris around here. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Quit being a wuss. Oh, God. Now it's going like slow motion. I, 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 don't, I don't get it, man. Anybody, any of the devs ever play the PS2 version of Dance Core 9 before they released it? It's crazy how slow it is. And like half the time it'll just go slow motion coming around the corners. Whatever. Oh, God. I don't know what the hell we did right there. We're good. Little shortcut. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just, just keep going in here. Man, it's just so clogged up. No wonder we stack up half a damn time. Man, this is... This is old, old, old Phoenix, man. Dude, it's like been reconfigured like four times now. Since this configuration. Oh, wow, well, there went my hood. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't realize it was that torn up. There it went. Oh, man, that should have killed Jeff Burton's car, man. He ran clear over that thing. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some pits to see if we can put this hood back on there, tape it back on there. We might need it later, we might not, but we're gonna need one of the 10 crew to run out on track, pick it up, bring it back with a pit stall, dude. I would take, it'd probably take till next Tuesday for somebody to run out there and get it back. And so as our pit crew is, man. Oh, fumble. And we haven't had a lot of those. Pro mostly probably because our, <laughs> our, our stops have been so slow already, but, um, Okay, that's cool. I mean, we, we take all day to do it anyways. Take your time, guys. All right, well, at least we got our hood back on there, so that's nice. Thank you. All right, let's try this again. And I'm going to make sure that I don't blow into the ass of somebody here because Lord knows they're going to stack up going off in a one and two. Oh, man, look at this. This is a line of cars. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying down here. Oh, God. There we go. Yeah, that worked out really well. I really appreciate, man, how well this thing turns. I don't know why, but it just turns really well, and I really appreciate it. Oh, is this one of we friends with this guy? When did that happen? I didn't even share draft with him. I don't know if I was friends with him earlier or what. Cool. Look at all these friends. Vickers, we got Kyle Petty up in here, Reed Sorensen, JJ Yaley, Paul Menard. Oh, man, and we got these freshies now, too. Oh, man. Bow about dinged off of Kyle Petty. He's barely set up there in front of Reed Sorensen. Here we come. I mean, at least compared to everybody back here, it actually seems like we got a pretty fast car. Too bad there's, I mean, there's there's not a lot of short tracks. Basically, I mean, New Hampshire, I guess, is kind of close. But other than that, you basically got Martinsville and you got, like, Phoenix. And those are really it for the chase. So this is a kind of a shitty chase layout, honestly. At least compared to what we got now or what we got coming in 2020, man. Holy shit, what a playoff round that's going to be, but... Yeah, they got it. I mean, it took them long enough, but they're, they're finally getting away from... that. The chase is like half mile and a half for a long time, or most mostly comprised of mile and a half, so... God bless NASCAR for at least doing something good. Yeah, they're not friends with Sam anymore. <laughs> that's the second time I've impregnated Sam Morris in this uh, Scrub Cup chase, so uh, congrats, I guess. Yeah, this thing is so slow on the straightaways. That's all right. At least we make up for it in the corners, man. We can really get off in there. Ooh. 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 You better watch it. Look at that. Not intimidated at all. I'm right in those tire tracks, too. Yeah, the. I guess since we're going so damn slow, I don't know. It's just the draft and the intimidate is not very. It not work all too well. I don't. I didn't want to intimidate my best friend Bobby, anyways. And that brings us up to our first teammate, Casey Kane. We want to fuck off. Hey. Appreciate it. Thanks, Casey. Move over. I really appreciate that. Move over, huh? Yes? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, he moved one way or another. Oh, there's Regan Smith. Once again, not having the best of runs. Clint Boyer's running P2. That's going to help out, but it might be too little too late. It depends, though. If we got a bad run, I'm not 100% sure what the points gap is. We have a really bad run here. And he finishes like top two or three, and then he runs really well at Homestead. He might have a chance like that, but oh man, that still might be kind of rough. How we doing? Come on, chug down the straightaway. Everybody, to be fair though, it's like the straightaway speed seems to be really even. Like you get a run on somebody, I don't know, maybe that's just how slow I am. It's like I stall every time I kind of get my nose. 
out front there. Look at that. We got by Regan Smith, though. That's huge. We'll see what he does for the rest of the race. But Regan Smith, man, he had a hell of a start all the way through Dega. But, man, really falling off as of late. Look at Carl Edwards. He's finally starting to figure it out. Good for him. He is had. I mean, he would probably be last right now in, this, in the chase for the Scrub Cup. Okay, may, maybe he wouldn't be as bad as Dario or, or JJ Yaley, but, I mean, he'd be pretty close. He might be, though. I don't know why, but he's just run like dog shit, so. Ooh, boy, I'm trying to keep it on my friend Juan. How we doing, Juan? I don't know why I love a Penske so much, but it's a cool looking car. And we got Kevin. Look at us, man. Dude, this thing's hauling. Well, I guess we got a little bit fresher tires than some of these guys. That always seems to help out a lot. Um, oh, God. Kevin Harvey got cut me off there. But yeah, it's saying, mm, it is, it's pretty damn good. I won't lie. I think we might be able to just drive up here and take this lead. I don't know. We still got three seconds to the leader. To be fair, I've only been about, I've only cut in about a second. It's been about four this entire run, so. But we are slicing and dicing through these guys. Still it's really slippery on the entry of the corner, but it, it sure digs center off. Oh, God. I yeah, about that center off thing. I'm not really too sure what it did, but it wasn't it wasn't good. <laughs> I think we're all right. All right, Jeff, how we doing? That's for P11. I almost cracked a top 10. I don't know how long the, the field run is going to be, but uh, this is kind of a shorter race. So um, we ran more laps uh, last race at Texas. So um, I, I definitely shouldn't be able to make it to the end, but yeah, I don't know. I guess it'll probably just be one more pit stop for everybody here. So that's cool with me, man. We're actually running really, really well. Oh, there it is. Halfway on fuel. So, oh, God. Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, it'll be one stopper for, for everybody from here. That's, sounds good to me. Unless somebody, I don't know, somebody will probably dick it up here. I was going to say, have we hit green flag pit stops yet? I want to say we probably have, but. I don't know. We always get some sort of stupid caution in and around. Oh my! We had to undo it right there. Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mike. Motherfucker. How hard is it to put the? Uh, I shouldn't ask Michael Walter. We don't know. Oh, oh, no! Oh, shit. Dale Jr. hit pit road. Okay. I guess it's that time. Yeah, he was the first one to duck in. There's, there's some folks following him, and so. All right. Well, now we see if we get, the, you know, if we get the caution. I don't know if Elliot Sadler will plow into everybody again, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're good to go for a while now, so, I mean, we're, we could probably definitely go a little bit further. I'm just going to go around the high side. I guess all these guys are going to duck in. and yeah, there it is. The Clint Boyer coming in. And here we come around a lap a lot of these guys, so. We'll see if we get a caution. I don't think it'll be for, for floppy part problems, but, uh, it might be all right. And the rest of them coming in. So I'll stay out, get my five bonus points. Always helps out. Hell yeah. All right. So now I guess we just kind of chill. I mean, I don't want to stay out here too terribly long, but my tires are still green. <laughs> oh, man. I thought it was some great timing. Well, I mean, if somebody would like to wreck, that'd be great. Got a lap on the field. Chilling. It's going to suck when I have to make my 25-second pit stop and lose everything but uh hey it's cool for now man I like leading laps and you know we got our bonus points so oh boy she's sh a little slippery all right well i think it's time to bring it in tires are hitting yellow uh, i don't know how much fuel i got left but it's not a lot so i don't want to risk running it out i don't really know what it does after orange so i don't want to know either uh right, here we come I don't know what pit road speed is, but hopefully it's 70. All right, cool. All right, you guys know the deal, man. Million dollar pit stop right here. I guess we can look at this and watch us lose spots alive. All right, guys, I don't ask for much, man, but if we could keep it under like 21, 22 seconds, that'd be great. I know it's not gonna happen, but uh, you know, we can, we can hope. 10, 11, 12, we're only done two sets of tires. 17, 18, 19. Okay, hey, that's what I asked for, under 22, so. Um, go, God. 
Okay. You know what? I, I can live with that. I can I can live with that. 13th, 14th. He came out behind Regan Smith. It looks like he's going forwards, but I can live with that. At least we got see we got fresh tires now, so we can hopefully just drive right by these suckers. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean we we lost a lot of time. We're now eight seconds behind. But um we got these freshies now. And you know, from what I've learned so far, it, it, you know, the car isn't really it's not the fastest uh, when everybody's on even tires, but man, we get freshies compared to everybody else, man. Holy hell. It definitely makes us look look pretty good, so let's try to take advantage of this here. Gonna have to get up on a Regan if you wanna win. Cause we are uh, we are running out of time. And uh, if I come out of here outscoring Regan Smith, he's not gonna have a fun time at Homestead next week. Oh, we got one slow. That's that guy. I guess uh, he's got some problems. He had or he waited a hell of a long time to come down and get some pits. There you go, finally driving away from Regan Smith. He fought for it, that's for sure. And I was kind of surprised. I kind of came out of there. I was, I was sitting pretty tight, and I still am pretty snug. I don't know if I'm quite as quick as I was before, but it's definitely not quite feeling the same. Although I slide off in a turn one, but after it gets on slide, man, it's definitely pretty snug. Whoa! Contact! I don't know what the hell that was, but Elliot Sadler, man, keeps on doing good things for me. Appreciate it, man. Keep keep up the good work. Damn, that didn't even really work out for me. That just brought Riga Smith right up to me. For a second there, man, I had I had a huge run. They had slowed down so much, but man, they got their momentum back up. That's for sure. And I uh. Oh man, I forgot I can't do that until they repay Phoenix. Ooh, sliding in, man. Dave Reagan not giving me a whole lot of room, but there you go. We got it now. Come on, get your ass up there. Dave Reagan sitting P5 of the championship scrub cup points and had a nice little run here today. Looking to close it all on out. All right, Ellie, you're going to move over, right? No, go fuck yourself. Are you in the scrub cup, Chase? Lead, for that matter? Yay! Ask him a third time and he'll get the fuck out of the way. Cool. Thank you very much, teammate. Appreciate it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I didn't. I didn't totally grip up there, but I appreciate the appreciate the room, Marcus. See, that's why you let your teammate over, man. Look, I got your free spot because he didn't have the balls to pass Marcus Ambrose. So Clint Boyer's still running P3 right now. Nice little run. Nice little run. We're running P8, so he will gain some points on us if it finish if it settles out like this, which I think it will. I mean, we've cut it down about five and a half seconds, but. Uh, it's a lead, but I don't think it's gonna happen, man. We were definitely running out of uh, running out of time, and we're, it's getting to the point now where the tires are starting to even out a little bit, and yeah, it's not quite as good as when we first started out there. But uh, all in all, this is what we need to do, because really, at the end of the day, we're not fighting Clinton Boy, we're fighting Regan Smith. And Regan Smith, I didn't see where he was running, but I know he's not too terribly far behind us. So it looks like we're still gonna gain some points on him. So going off into Homestead, I mean, once again, we could totally DNF out. You know, on the lap one, I don't even know if I can DNF, but I probably can, I'm sure. If not, I could probably lose all my speed and run 43rd for the whole race. And, you know, him go out there and win and, you know, beat me barely, but you never know. Here we go. Every spot matters at this point, especially which just rolled through my head. <laughs> DNF and on lap one at Homestead. Yeah, we can go ahead and take a spot mark. Appreciate it. Thanks. And we got Dale Jarrett. Both the 44 cars have a nice little run. Dave Ruman, P2. Dale Jarrett running P6, so good for them. Glad they both figured it out. Ooh, boy, just sliding in. How we doing? Whoa, Carlo, dude, Carlo. And we got Denny, and then we got AJ Allmendinger. Once again, Scrub Cup competitor made it up to third after last week, and having another good little run right here. Mm, up that ass. Uh, full send. Oh God, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, that was kind of, thanks, I guess. I, I used them up, my bad. But I think I was faster anyway, so all ye. All right, so it uh, looks like that's that's gonna be about it for us. Uh, I see Clint Boyer, I see David Rudiman. I don't see Dale Jr., but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be catching Clint Boyer by the end of this thing, so. That was a nice little rally. We were sitting P8 when we were talking about it earlier, but uh, made it up to P4, so it's really gonna cut down on the points Clint Boyer. 
Uh, gets uh, well. That's that's the thing. I don't think he's let a lap. I have, so that might neutralize that totally. All righty. Well, two laps to go. This is it? P4. And Dale Jr. really hopped on it. I closed it to almost under three seconds, and all of a sudden he just opened it right back up. Um, so, yeah. So it looks like it's gonna finish. Look, look at Dale Jr. winning races in 2009. Cool. But yeah, David Rudiman's gonna come home. Looks like P2, Clint Boyer third, so a great rebound race for him. Uh, we don't exactly know where Regan Smith is, but uh, hopefully he's on back air. We'll see here in just a minute. But all in all, nice little run for us, man. I'm just saying, you know, for Pit Crew's a little better, we probably could have won the damn thing, but uh, that's okay. Anyways, we, I mean, I think it worked out good enough. We got those fresh tires and came back up through the field, so that's exactly what we needed to do, and this might be the nail in the final coffin. We'll see. Going off in a homestead next. So look at the race results. Dale Jr. with the win. 26 laps led. Good for him. Clint Boyer third. We came home fourth. A huge run in Phoenix again. Not too sure what kind of speed we'd have. But, uh, man, it worked out really well. That's exactly what we needed to do to win this championship. I look at the rest of it here. Almond Dinger with the solid run. Regan Smith, 15th. Not a bad run, but not good enough. Look back at the rest of it. Dario, 18th. Sam Horner's 25th, Kyle Petty 31st, the Bush is back to back 33rd, 34th, Reed Sorensen 36th, JJ Ailey 41st, and Jefferson, the one dude who, uh, yeah, I guess he DNF'd, finished last. 114 points is the gap to Regan Smith going off in a homestead. I'd like to think we won't blow that, but I've been wrong before. So with that, it's me versus Regan Smith in homestead. We got a, a nice little chunk of a lead. Uh, AJ Allmendinger third, Clint Boyer fourth, Reagan fifth, Marcus Ambrose up a spot, Sam Hornish is up a spot, and JJ Ailey takes back over the uh, the last spot there. So Reed Sorensen falling back to tenth. I guess there's a chance we uh, both Ganassi cars are going to finish twelfth uh, and eleventh. But uh, yeah, there you have it. So one more race. We go on a homestead to decide your Scrub Cup champion, inaugural Scrub Cup champion. Looks like it's either going to be Patrick Carpentier or Regan Smith. Again, not the two I probably would have selected, but uh, here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series up until this point. One more race remaining, and we'll settle it at Homestead in the next video. Appreciate y'all, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.